Welcome to the Legionary. What I thought we'd do today is make a sudis. A sudis was a large wooden stake that was carried by the Roman legionaries when on the march and or setting up camp. Um, it was used uh, predominantly as a defensive measure. Uh, it was pointed at both ends and had a middle hand grip. Uh, it was made out of hardwood, um, oak in some cases. We are going to be using a different type of hardwood. We're going to be using lime wood. Uh, this is a basswood if you're from the US. Um, Limewood was referred to uh, by the Romans as a tree of a thousand uses. They used it for uh, domestic uh, uses, so making uh, domestic items, household items. They used it in agriculture for making agricultural equipment, uh, but it also uh, was used to make shields, um, which is interesting, so it has a military application also, and we'll be exploring that at a later date. To make the sudis, we're going to be using hand tools uh, that are as close to the uh, Roman um, tools as we can find in the, in the modern day. Um, one of the first items we're going to be using is the uh, delobra, which is a Roman pickaxe. This is for hewing and cutting the wood down to size. Second item we'll be using is a buck saw or frame saw. Uh, this will be for cutting it to length. Uh, the, uh, there are um, depictions of um, frame saws uh, being used um, in Herculaneum in Italy on frescoes and uh, also there are um, uh, blades. Blades have been discovered at different archaeological sites such as uh, Conimbraga in uh, Portugal. We'll be using a draw knife also. The draw knife will be for removing the bark and uh, imperfections like knots. So this is good for getting it down to size doing some of the rougher, coarser work. Afterwards, the item we'll be using the most on this project will be a carving axe. So uh, here we've got a bearded axe. Uh, we'll be using this. Uh, Roman, Roman axes tended to have flatter heads. A lot of the ones I've seen have had, had a, f a much flatter profile or a face on it. Uh, so this one is slightly rounded, as close as I can find. Um, also, we've got a hammer and chisel, obviously a wooden mallet and a chisel for doing some of the finer work, uh, especially when it comes down to the handle at the end, uh, the, uh, the middle hand grip on the sudis. And then for drawing our lines, um, I will be using a pencil, <laughs> but uh, more importantly, I'll be using this line here, obviously to draw my lines and get, and get the stake as straight as I can. Uh, I'll be using this string or cord. So there we go. Those are the tools we're gonna to be using for cutting some lime wood into a sudis.